Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of October general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was How Deep Is Your Love by Drew Hill. Now in Drew Hill, we have a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Virgo, and a Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, or Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. You also have these placements in your chart, and this also can apply to time frames. Now you guys know I will botch a song <laughs> real quick, but I'm just going to tell you the part that's really standing out to me, which is the hook of the song. And this is also why I always share the song so you guys can look it up for yourself. But in the song, they say, in the hook, how deep is your love for me? Tell me what it's going to be. But I'm here and tell me who it's going to be. So somebody may have a choice between two people. But how deep is your love for me? Tell me what it's going to be. Do you see yourself fucking with her like me on a low dose so your friends don't know C? So somebody could have, could be dealing with another person or they could already be in a relationship. So this could be like some sneaky link stuff. I'm getting that. And with the song title, How Deep Is Your Love, it's like this person wants to see how loyal you are. I'm definitely getting like somebody's testing someone to see how loyal they are. That's in one instance. Now in another, you guys put it where it applies. This does not always have to mean that somebody is in a third party and there's a cheating scenario. Somebody could just be testing someone to see how loyal of a person they are and if they can rely on them. If, if the times, if, you know, if shit hits the fan or something happens in their life, they want to know, are you reliable? This could either be you or someone that you're dealing with is doing that to you. If you are completely single, you may have been dealing with someone like that and you didn't make the cut or you were like, oh no, they didn't make the cut. So just put it where it applies, okay? So let's see what we get for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the Sun card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and we'll get clarifiers for those cards. Currently at the bottom of the deck, see somebody, somebody failed the test, okay? You got Major Arcana, The Tower, Scorpio, and Aries Energy. So, I'm going to say, here's the thing. With the first scenario, like if somebody was dealing with someone who's already in a relationship, they may have outed this person. You may have outed them or they outed you. Like they may have reached out to someone's significant other. Also, it's like somebody may have fallen because he's fallen. Somebody may have fallen for someone who's already in a relationship. So, they did not pass the vibe check, especially if this was a situation of convenience or a situation ship, somebody fell for someone. Okay, even after they knew what the situation was, somebody fell for someone, caused a tower moment. Now somebody has to cut someone off, or someone did cut someone off. Also, I'm gonna say again, if that has nothing to do with your situation, it's just like you wanted to see if this person was reliable, like if you can count on this person or if they have character traits of someone that you would want to move forward with. I feel like they didn't pass. Okay, it's something that they did, they they just did not pass the test. Okay. So let's go ahead, or you may find it out in Scorpio season, which is up next, okay? So let's go ahead. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana. Again, that will be the sun, and we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Okay, that one wants to show it. So, and this was the card that you had to be in there, the eight of swords. So that's like mental imprisonment, feeling stuck, feeling bound. Some of you guys are indecisive about what to do. Moving forward, you may also feel like you're dealing with someone who is emotionally immature. Pages are young, youthful. They got some growing to do. They have a very emotional and mental immaturity to them. And, and, and that may be something that you discover. So let's see. Again, we're going to go through the deck until we get the sun card. Card that comes before and a card that comes after. Also, someone may be shutting up. Like, if if there's a sneaky link situation, somebody's just being quiet about it because sore up is just sore down. There's no source communication mental. <clears throat> and then as soon as I stopped, you have the justice card. So at one point, this person may not have been saying something, but now in Libra season, which we are currently in now, justice, this person may be trying to, um, they may be wanting things to balance out. They may be wanting more. That's what I'm getting here. Because somebody, somebody may be wanting more. They were okay before, but now they want a little bit more out of the situation. So you have a star card right in front of you, Aquarius. And I did mention, let's see, you do, do we have, yep, you got Aquarius and Drew Hill, the group that I mentioned. So you got a star card, Aquarius. Right behind it, you have hmm, five of wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. So I'm going to say again, somebody definitely has a third party situation because there's a lot of people involved here. Okay. And then you have the Hermit Virgo. And I did mention, 
and Drew Hill, you do have a Virgo. So you have Aquarius and Virgo here. <coughs> Excuse me. I felt it coming. And it's like we sneeze, you know, like something gets expelled. I feel like somebody's going to come out and say something. It's going to cause some drama. Or you may have to defend yourself from some type of drama because you are wands. Somebody's going to find out. Somebody, it's a snake on their pad. We'll find out about some sneaky activity because snakes are associated with sneakiness. Transformation also, but in this situation, I'm getting sneakiness. Also, someone could be born in the year of the snake, okay? Definitely could be involved with a Virgo or someone you met in Virgo season or something. This may have already taken place in Virgo season as well. Because it's like having a fallout, people confronting each other. Bottom of the deck, yeah, somebody found this stuff out. Okay, the truth was found out about a situation, okay? You got the high priestess, that's Piscean energy. Someone's first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, M, H, W, P, R, or S. I keep wanting to say W. Somebody's initials is W, W. Like first and last initial is W. Someone's last name could be Williams, Wilson, Walters. I also heard Warren. Somebody's name could be Warren. Um, but here's the thing. The high priestess knows all, sees all. This is someone who's knowledgeable intuitively. Physically, emotionally, they're, they're in tune. They know what's up already. So I, I feel like somebody found something out and that caused that drama here. I'm going to just be honest with you. Somebody was being real conniving. I, I'm, I'm being honest. I, whether it's you or somebody, and it, I know saying conniving is kind of judgmental, right? But that's not my intention. But I feel like conniving, like, I, it's almost like I'm hearing speaking for the other person involved. Like, somebody's like, this person conniving is hell. Like, they, they were called... <laughs> I'm just getting like multiple people, not even just one person. It could be multiple people that someone was dealing with here. And my nose is itching real bad all of a sudden. And it literally just started doing that since I started doing you guys reading. So somebody's doing some snooping. Again, she's she's intuitive. So she can, there's somebody who got the receipts. Like somebody's doing some snooping, trying to find something out. And, and is going to discover or has discovered. There's a lot of people involved in the situation here with someone that they're dealing with. Okay. Whether this is you or someone you were dealing with. Okay. Yeah, there's other people here. Because, see, there's a couple and then there's another party leaving off the premises. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Strength card, your energy. You may have been dealing with someone who's a sneaky link. Because you see how she's holding a mouth? Like, and she's holding the lion's mouth. You are the lion, okay? You see how she's holding it? Like, okay, don't say anything. Like, you may have known something. But somehow something comes out. Something's going to come out or it already did. We're going to see what we get here. Just seeing the lovers in reverse. Could have been involved in a Gemini. Or something that happened in Gemini season, which is May, June time frame. Somebody's like, this is a heavy burden. I'm done with it. I'm not, I'm not going to entertain it anymore is what I'm getting also. Bottom of the deck, you have the hangman in reverse. Upright, there's a stuck in limbo, staying comfortably in a position, like just honoring whatever's going on. In reverse, somebody's had the aha moment. It's like, I got to say something, okay? Aquarius again, Aries. You got Aquarius here also. So something definitely involving Aquarius, either the time frame or the person. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. But I, I feel like somebody's making something come to the light. Somebody's going to tell something. I, I really feel like it's going to cause some type of drama. Now, even if this is not your personal situation, it could be that you have a loved one or a friend or associate. And you find out that this person is dealing with dabbling and dealing with multiple people. You may make this person aware of it. Okay? Because sometimes it's not always just about our personal lives. It could be people that are close to us. Okay? Let's get a clarifying for the star card. Yeah, see? And look what flipped out right here. None other than you. Then you have the first card. See, some of you guys may be the one handing over some information. You may be dropping some gems or dropping dime, as they say. You know, in slang, dropping dime means you may be shining a light on the situation and telling somebody something. Now, also, I'm going to say, <laughs> look at these cards. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you find out, even if... Let's say in the beginning, you didn't know. You had no clue. This is not a situation ship. You didn't know that this person was putting you in a third-party situation. I feel like when you find out, you're going to be bringing that situation to the light because the sun is the ultimate light. You drop and dime. And Will of Fortune is fated and destined for you to tell this situation because it's no longer, they're not meant to be in the dark about it anymore. There is three people here. Okay, well, three energies here. You have one, two, three, four on every single corner. I'm telling you right now, somebody's saying something about a third party. You got a lot of people here. Of these um, sunflowers, there's four in total, but you see how it's one, two, three right by that baby. Okay, somebody may also be pregnant. This could be salacious, man. Like, somebody may be found out that a third party is pregnant. See, I'm going to tell you right now, this is fate and destiny. It's meant for somebody to find out. It's really meant for somebody to find out before they invest 
in someone who got all these secrets. That's that's exactly all this is saying. Like somebody got hella secrets and it's coming out. Somebody going to drop down and that's going to be a blessing for someone before they invest in someone that has hella secrets. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like there's somebody who's very manipulative, who is a very charming person who kind of makes people go with the flow of whatever they say. Or this person was so charming that you didn't even know that this person had all these secrets. Some of you guys are going to find this out. I'm telling you right now, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. For some of y'all, because we have the moon here, this could come out either during the new moon, which is on the 14th of this month, or the full moon, which is on the 28th of this month. We do have a eclipse this month as well. And this is exactly what it is, an eclipse. So this could be happening during that eclipse. I believe the eclipse is on the 14th. Just check it out. See if it's on the 14th, if it's on the new moon or the full moon. I can't recall off the back. But I can tell you right now, something when the eclipse is like something is coming to light in a major way. You're going to find something out that was hidden in a major way. And I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show. I feel like it's going to be you guys because you look, you got you right across from you. So you're going to find something out. And I feel like also I'm getting like this again. Somebody could be grimy. And I feel like this person's like, man, please, you act like you don't know what's going on. Things hidden, things unknown, things we're not clear about. Act like you we don't know each other or something like that because I don't want to cause any drama. This person will put me on child support. This person will take everything that I got. You know, it's somebody who's like, damn, they're going to be begging and pleading. Yeah, somebody's fearful that it's going to cost them a lot. They ain't think about all that when they were doing what they were doing. You got Ace of Pentacles and then you got the Will of Fortune, Keyword Fortune. So somebody stands to lose a lot. Not just the person. They stand to lose a lot when something is found out. Because, I mean, there's going to be drama right here. I see drama unfolding for sure. And, I, again, this could happen during one of those very significant um, moon phases. Now, I always tell you guys, three days before... During and three days after the new and full moon, that's when the energy is its most potent. So it doesn't have to be exactly on that full moon. It could be three days before, three days after. And not just the full moon, but the new moon also, because the new moon illuminates energy as well. New moon and full moon, those very powerful phases, they illuminate things. So something's going to come out. I'm telling you, that sun is going to shine. And because the sun is your major icon, I feel like you're going to be the one to bust somebody out. That's not like you being a snitch. That's just like, you like, no, nah, this ain't right. Literally dropping down. Like, this ain't right. I I can't I can't rock with this. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Okay? So, Leo, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.